Hi, my name is Peggy and thanks for taking time to watch this little video out of the blog that I posted regarding the um, excellent app called Explain Everything. You might think it's delusional that somebody would ex actually name their iPad app Explain Everything as you're setting expectations pretty high. Well, what I'm about to show you is pretty impressive and you can't possibly appreciate this app until you see what this will all do. So let's jump in and take a look. Now I'm sure enough of you out there realize that there's all kinds of great different kinds of apps for publishing. For example, the Show Me app or the Screen Chomp app. I've used those and I've used them in combination with other things. But I was looking forever for something just like this. Explain Everything allows you to do all kinds of annotations while you're recording for each individual slide, yet pulling it all together as a movie. So I started with a screenshot of the very introduction of uh, Explain Everything so that you could see what you're actually offered in the beginning menu where they ask you um, what we'd like to import. You can start from a blank project, but if you want, you can import all kinds of different kinds of documents, um, I, um, PowerPoints, um, picture files, and such. You can import sets of photos, or you can take photos as you make your slideshow from a blank project. So um, it really gives you a lot of versatile beginnings. Um, in fact, what I did here with this one is I set up just a real basic slideshow in PowerPoint and exported it to my Dropbox, and then I brought it back into my iPad and inserted it right in here. So. Um, that's what I'm actually working on is a very uh, slim PowerPoint that just set my structure for my presentation I'm giving you now. This is a presentation a student made. This, this student's presentation she did because she was going to use the Show Me app. And so she made a bunch of papers that were written in black ink. And when I showed her this particular item, it actually became... Uh, something she was more interested in because she wanted to do multiple examples. Let's go to the next slide. I thought I'd start with a screenshot of the working palette that you have when you come in. After you import your whatever you would choose to import, you have the flexibility of using all these different annotation tools, which I'm about to describe to you, as well as all kinds of other great features where you can watch the video ahead of time. You can keep track of what slides you're on. There's This is what I use and have used over and over for recording and backing up and re-recording if I don't like how it turned out and I can play it and back up again. I can advance if I want. I can continue to add video uh, audio to what I'm doing on my annotation page for each slide. This is pretty much all the different kind of export choices you have. And of course, the home button to get back to where we were when we began. On the next slide, I'm going to use this. It's actually going to be blown up. Um, I'm going to have this in my far background so that you can see what these different tools will actually do for you that give you more flexibility than Show Me or Screen Chomp. Okay, so I thought the best way to demonstrate this would be actually to use the Explain Everything app at the same time. And so what I'm going to do is I, I went in and I cropped, and you can see the cropping tool is so poor compared to everything else this app has. But this app does have a slide sorter, just like in a PowerPoint. Um, you see that I've been using so far in the presentation, I've been using the laser pointer, which also is... Um, a tool on this far left side. The font choice that you get is pretty amazing. You have all these different text choices as far as the size, the font type, which is quite numerous. You can see I only have the Helveticas here. Uh, there had to be at least 70 different choices on the side. Um, you have choices of all kinds of different colors. And so you can also choose to put a text border if you want. And there is a scroll bar on this font choice that is quite extensive. There's also um, different choices when it comes to exporting. So if we just talk about exporting for a minute, you can export an image 
and that's what this icon is down here, just the little picture. You can do it as a picture or as a PDF. You can go out to Dropbox, Evernote directly, or to any email, or just to your photo roll on your iPad. Then there's choices on exporting movies. The movies can export out to the photo roll or to your YouTube account, which is what I'm planning to do with this one here today. And then there's also the choices of Dropbox, Evernote, and downloading it to your own computer through email. Um, you could make it public out from those pl places. Once again, here we can see that we have the option to export to many places. There's so many places that we can export to. Um, and what I've done is I've sent my movie out to YouTube, and that's how I will attach it to not just my blog post here, but that's how my students will use this um, inside of their Prezi's. Uh, they can put this movie out to YouTube. They could probably also use the movie out to um, Dropbox or Evernote and save it from there um, or even onto their hard drive and save it from there into another cloud.